Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Live Inspired Podcast with John O'Leary, Monday Morning Moments. I record these so you and I can begin our days and our weeks in awe and on fire with a burst of inspiration. Let's get after it today with a quote from Thomas Aquinas who writes, There is nothing on this earth more to be prized than true friendship. Eight years ago, I had the privilege of sharing the stage with Brene Brown and speaking to the leadership team at Southwest Airlines. Visiting with Brene was a once in a lifetime experience and awesome. She's just a terrific person. Having lunch afterwards with Southwest President and CEO Herb Kelleher was also a huge honor. But one of the greatest gifts from that day was a friendship that was planted and then blossomed afterwards. Let me tell you more about it and then why it matters to you. At the conclusion of our day together in Dallas, many promised to stay in touch and many of those amazing Southwest individuals have. But one in particular has not just stayed in touch, but has actually grown into a prized friend. His name is Kim Seal, an organization of 70,000 individuals serving millions of customers each year. Sometimes it's probably possible to feel like you're only one small part of something too big to change. But Kim's job is to not only remind his colleagues, but also every one of his customers that they truly do matter, that they are seen, that their problems are heard, their business is sincerely appreciated, and that their lives do matter. Responsible for customer engagement, Kim gets to spend each and every day making other people feel special. And he's been doing this fine work for the last several decades. He's been incredibly impressed with Southwest, and I've experienced firsthand the profound impact of his thoughtfulness. Stuffed airplanes sent to my kids and many others. Support quietly extended to those struggling in our community and many other communities. A private tour for our young person with special needs who was interested in the aviation industry. Meeting loyal customers when they land so he can personally shake their hand and thank them for their business. In doing these things and so many more, Kim perpetually asked the question, what more can I do for others? And then he does it. Whatever he comes up with, he just takes action on it. It's an amazing thing. Last week, I experienced that generous heart again. On the anniversary of the day that I was born, my bride asked if she could take me to lunch and celebrate with me. Of course, the answer is yes. Beth arrived at my office, had a big old smile on her face. She looked absolutely beautiful. So I happily jumped in the car, not yet sure where we were heading. It was a surprise. She drove me to one of our favorite Italian restaurants on the hill here in St. Louis. The hostess led us to a table in the back of the restaurant where one surprise guest was already waiting for us. My friend, Kim Seal. Kim had taken an early morning flight from Dallas to St. Louis, and he would fly back to Dallas later on that afternoon. But he took a day off work and time away from the business of his own life to show a customer of his organization and a friend of his that he loved him. And although I already knew about it, spending that time with him, laughing with him, reminiscing with him while savoring delicious food and even better friendship was one of the greatest gifts that I could have opened up last week. My friends, we can pretend to care, but we can't pretend to show up for people. And I know of no one who models this more beautifully and more sincere ways through his work and in his life than my buddy, my friend, Kim Seal. There is nothing on this earth more to be prized than true friendship. I feel incredibly blessed to count Kim as one of my true friends, and in his example, I will strive to show up and be like Kim for others. So my friends, I do have a public safety announcement. Here it comes. Fasten your seatbelts. Make sure that all your belongings are securely put away. Close your tray table. Put up your seat to the full position. And get ready to join me as we remind others that they are seen, that they matter, that they are loved, and that their best is yet to come. So, my friends, for this time and until next time, my name is John O'Leary. Today is your day. What a gift. Be a true friend and live inspired.